Hello, thanks for stopping by again. This is a special edition of the blog. We're doing something to celebrate St George's Day today, the 23rd of April. Uh, the lovely pastoral scenes that you saw at the start of the video there were of our local uh, village green, just a couple of hundred yards from my front door. I'm very lucky like that. Uh, we've got a village green and a maypole and a set of stocks where we like to uh, punish naughty people and throw rotten fruit at their faces and all looked over by the church, the lovely Church of England church on the hill there. Um, so what we've got today, I thought it would be nice to do some classic British ales for, uh, for St George's Day. Now, the, the beers that we've got are from the Brakes Beer Brewery, which was once upon a time a, a classic Oxfordshire brewery. Uh, then it kind of got dismantled and, and bought by, uh, by Refresh, who moved the whole brewing plant and uh, recreated as much of it as they could and, uh, and remade uh, to original specifications in original materials anything they didn't have. And it's kind of uh, appropriate that we're using these beers because um, in the last few days it's emerged that Refresh has been bought by Marston's. So these are really some, uh, although they're classic English ales, they seem to have wandered a bit in the last few years. Um, let's get stuck in. The first one we've got here, Breaks Beer Bitter, 3.4%. I love this. It's a, lovely, it's a classic English bitter, but only kind of 3.5%. Um, it's just a lovely kind of midweek beer that you can, uh, you can kind of have a couple of bottles and feel, feel none the worse for it. Yeah, lovely, perfect balance with this. You have a little, a little snap of uh, hops. You have a lovely maltiness. There's a very, very slight hint of, of, of butterscotch there, which, you know, in some other beers is a fault, but in English ales, it's completely appropriate. Mm. Lovely, fantastic, hits the tongue. Immediate little snap of biscuits, crackers. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really classic English ale. The, the balance, the sweetness, the bitterness of the aftertaste. It's great how they managed to cram so much into a beer that's only 3.5%. Okay, moving along, we have Breaks Beer EPA, 4.2%. EPA, the English Pale Ale, a little bit paler in colour. Just give it a little bit of a swirl, get the head going, trap some aromas. Mm, and a little bit brighter, there's, there's currently a suggestion of floral hops going on there. Now that's interesting because although this is a, a beer that's higher in alcohol, you would imagine it to have a little bit more body, a bit more flavour, but it's somehow lighter than the, uh, than the Breaks Beer Bitter. The, the same kind of flavours, it's got a lovely house style, the, the kind of snappy malt, and the lovely bite of the hops. And again, the sweetness and the bitterness. That's the thing that I love most about English ales, is the balance that they have. It just lends them such a fantastic drinkability. Uh, so Oxford Gold now uh, is an organic beer. And so 4.6% alcohol. Again, a little bit paler. Let's see if the organic credentials make it taste any better. Because uh, that's what we're always... Uh, that's what we're always worried about, how the beer's going to taste. Yeah, again, brighter, floral. Kind of a suggestion of citrus, although it's kind of citrus and floral at the same time. It sometimes lends an air of kind of washing up liquid, which isn't great. It, it smells like it might taste a little bit soapy. I hope that's not going to be the case. Mm. Well, that's interesting. It's got that slight kind of, again, the, the house style, the biscuity malt, the balance, the roundness. It's got a slight weird kind of pine needly snap to it, which I'm guessing may come from the hops. I'm not 100% convinced by it, to be honest. I think maybe they've compromised on the flavour of the beer by, uh, by using organic ingredients. But lastly, Breaks Beer Triple. Now, this is a, a modern classic in the making. 7.2% alcohol. Uh, triple fermented, twice in, in fermentation vessels, third fermentation in the bottle. Uh, so it's bottle conditioned beer. Ooh, listen to that. And so we're expecting something much bigger. The head is much more kind of clingy and, and rocky. Yeah, I don't even need to put my nose to it. It's, it's huge, it's a big, big kind of waft of the suggestion of alcohol. A little bit peachy. Yeah, really kind of mouth-watering actually. Mmm. Much, much bigger beer. Immediately, initial sweetness in the mouth. 
contains a lot of malt in there. And again, that lovely kind of peachy, pineapple-y, lovely long aftertaste, becoming a little bit more bitter. Slightly, slightly more sticky than these lighter beers, as you would imagine. There's more alcohol there, there's a little bit more residual sugar to kind of give it the body to cope with that alcohol. Um, fantastic. For me, it's a toss-up between the Breaks Beer Triple, which is, as I said, a classic in the making, and the very, very humble Breaks Beer Bitter at 3.5%. 3.5%, 7%, you know, both taste great. Um, I don't know which one of these I'm going to go for for the rest of the evening. Maybe if this one's a slightly lighter alcohol beer, I might get to finish both. Uh, but for now, it's the Breaks Beer Triple. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.